is up everybody bobby here the nintendo guru and today i wanted to go over flowers and hybrids and how to grow them and how to make it all work for you and the benefits from it and behind it so with that here we go So let's just get into today's video right away. Let's just jump right out the box. And I want to discuss hybrid flowers and what the benefits are and why to have them, how to grow them, and, and the best way to do all these things. So let's start with why you should have hybrid flowers. Hybrid flowers will bring you typically insects, bugs that are rare, that are normally high dollar value uh, insects and bugs. So I'm going to take you to where my town hall is and in this area, I have hybrids on the right and on the left. These hybrids I actually pulled from an island and the island had a whole bunch of hybrids and a whole bunch of like specialty butterflies that were flying all around and flocking all around them. What I've learned is by having these here, these butterflies now show up in my town. They're constantly just spawning around this area and just popping up. I'll just be walking around randomly and they'll just show up. So what's the best way to lay out and plant for hybrids? And I'm going to do that here in the in the main area again, just to give you guys a ballpark and an idea how to do it. So as we stand here, I bought some flowers. So we're going to plant one right here. And now the next step would be to kind of create a checkerboard. So I'm going to move down and then I'm going to move down again to a space here. And then I'm going to plant. And now you can see there's a space in between. The next spot is here to the right. Then we're going to go over to the left over here. And then we're going to move down, but we're going to go down one more. And then we're going to go back in here and fill this gap. So basically you're creating like diagonal layout. It's, it's almost creating a checkerboard pattern on the ground across the board and then you can bounce over and start working on the right hand side but spacing is is pretty much the way you want it to be across the board now the idea is you want to space them out across a good area now i recommend immediately watering i mean these are still growing and you have a ways to go yet with these these are not ready to bloom hybrids at all so you don't have to worry about this for a couple of days but you should still water your flowers each day moving forward. Now, the idea behind this, and I wanna show you a couple of areas that I have put flowers that will potentially grow hybrids. What happens is when they are watered and they were taken care of, you will start to spawn hybrids in the gaps. So you wanna leave these gaps here because what you'll start to find is as time moves on, you will come in the morning to go water your flowers and you will find in these gaps, hybrid flower. Now you can easily say, well, why not just put them in a box or put them in all tight together? For some reason, they don't necessarily grow as quickly that way. Uh, but they also, where you could get one on the outside, you will find yourself getting like numerous ones within here. So it's always a good idea to get the hybrids growing this way. Watering is a little bit tough. I just basically stand on the one flower and then kind of go back and forth with the with the tin watering can. It's the better one because it does three spots as opposed to one spot with the flimsy. I also started to grow this one with roses. So these are all red roses. And the idea behind it is, is I just wanted to grow a bigger area a bigger swath of hybrids potentially so we'll see how this works out and hopefully tomorrow we'll get some blooms and then potentially the next day we should see some hybrids starting to pop up in here so another area that i did a couple of a, a test area for hybrids was up in here in the left corner i put mums down because i was looking to and as you can see we have a hybrid that grew overnight i hadn't had many mature flowers to do this with but I did have mums. Mums were my natural. So I said to myself, let me try to grow some hybrids out here with the mums. And lo and behold, I come here this morning and I got a pink one that's right in the middle, as we said. So now essentially I can grab this. I can take this pink mum and I can either just do something with it or we could take it and move it probably like here, plant it right here. And then the pink and the white could spawn another pink 
one as well. Uh, so that's the benefit of it. So it's a good idea to try to do similar situations like we're, we're showing here in this picture. Okay, so we've showed you how to lay these out and that's only step one of this process. The other process is knowing which exact flowers will grow what type of flower. It's not a matter of just throwing them together and going like, okay, these will grow something. That's not always necessarily the thing. Basically, here's the breakdown. So with lilies, if you lay red next to red, you'll get black. Yellow next to red, you'll get orange. Red next to white, you will get pink. With roses, red against red will get black. Red against white will get pink. Yellow against red will get orange. White against white will get purple. And orange against orange will get blue. With mums, red and white make pink, as we saw earlier in the video. White and white make purple, and purple and purple make green. With pansies, red and red make purple. White and white make blue. Yellow and red make orange. Blue and blue make purple. With windflowers, orange and red make pink. Orange and white make blue, white and white make blue, pink and blue make purple, and blue and blue make purple. For Hacynthias, red and white make pink, white and white make blue, red and yellow make orange, blue and blue make purple. For Cosmos, yellow and red make orange, red and white make pink. And then with Tulips, red and red make black, red and yellow make orange and red and white make pink. So that's basically the combinations that you will get in the way to grow various hybrids in terms of colors matching and what you're gonna get. There's different benefits to growing hybrids. One, you'll get different species of bugs swarming and coming to those areas so you can catch more high dollar value bugs. The other thing is they just look gorgeous. They really set off your town when you have these hard to get colors that nobody really has, it makes the town just pop the minute people show up into town. And lastly, if you are a breeder and you can breed a lot of these things, they sell for a decent amount of money. You could get anywhere from a thousand to 10,000 bells per hybrid just because people want to get them and they, they look for different various ways to find them. So it's always something you should look into doing if you're looking to make money in the Animal Crossing game. So that is all. Thank you guys for watching another video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please slap a like button down below. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you know what's going on. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Twitch at NintendoGurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston.